Hi, uh, in this session we're going to learn how to configure a multiple choice question in GOMO. So I'm starting off and I am in the projects view and as you can see I already have content topic one open so we'll go in here and create our quiz. So we have several ways. One way and the easiest way is to add a new screen from a template. So what we've done is we've created an assortment of different templates uh, of different layouts where you have audio assets, video assets, presentation with film strips, hot text, and so on. And we've also created some for questions to make it a lot easier. So today we're going to do the multiple choice question. And what this has done is this has automatically created the screen layout for us, put the question on there, the question type, and even created the sub pages for us when creating the advanced feedback. So let's just go ahead and start creating the question. And I double clicked on the text up here. You could also have clicked on configure text over here. And of course the font, size, color, all of that I don't need to worry about because that's controlled by the theme. And now I can double click on the question to go and configure it. First thing I need to say is how many attempts am I gonna give my learner to be able to answer this question. If I give them one attempt, that means they have to get it right or wrong the first time, and then it moves on to the next question. Two attempts says that, okay, if you get it wrong one time, I'll give you an option to reset it and try to answer it again the second time. So we'll go in and we'll put in what our possible answers are, and it gives us three by default, and we're gonna go ahead and add a fourth one to show you how easy that is. So let's just say that Gomo is a programming framework. Is it an authoring tool? Is it a music editor? And we will add another item and we'll say is it a photo editor? Okay, so over here in this column, this is where we mark which of these answers is the correct answer. So we know that is a authoring tool and that's that. So now we have some options for feedback. Uh, we have basic feedback and then we have advanced feedback. So what the basic feedback is, it's just going to be a reveal with simple text that says yes you got this correct and this is why or it's incorrect uh, and that's about it. Um, pretty basic, that's why it's called basic. Or if we have advanced feedback, that's when we can get a little bit more creative with giving them the feedback. And the advanced feedback are what the sub pages have been created for. And because they're sub pages, we can put in different kinds of text based on the theme. We can put in images, we can put in uh, a background. So we have a lot more flexibility with how we want to present the answer to the learners. So that's why I prefer the, uh, the advanced over the basic. So we're going to go ahead and select here that this is incorrect, this is correct. And you don't have to worry about the incorrect final or incorrect first. It doesn't matter which one of these you choose. GOMO knows that if, if you choose this one first, it's going to give you the first attempt of feedback. If you choose it last, it's going to give you the last attempt of feedback. So what we do need to tell it though is because we have multiple pages here, is which of these is going to be the one when they have the first attempt. Now by default it should automatically choose first attempt, but we also want to just make sure that that's there. If we did basic, then we would need to go ahead and type in what our first incorrect feedback would be. So that's why we need to choose these down here at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and hit apply, and then from here we can go ahead and start to configure our advanced feedback. So I can, of course, double click on the text, and this is where I can choose the different styles of font that if I wanted to use the different size fonts. So this is gonna give me flexibility there. Uh, I'll just do body, that's fine. And I won't get real fancy. But as you can see, I can put in video backgrounds, I can choose the background color, I can choose whether or not it's gonna be a pop-up or a reveal, how is it gonna come in. So again, just a lot more options. And if I wanted to put a picture on here, it's just as simple as uh, you know, dragging and dropping the uh, image asset onto the screen. I'll give 
give them a positive feedback there. Okay. Now let's say, well, with this, I, I, I'm not limited to having just an image here. If I wanted to put a, uh, a video here, I could do that. Again, the layout that we choose here for you is simply uh, just a suggestion, I suppose. So you can create and customize this any way you want to. So now what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and we'll save this. And after it's done saving, we can give a real quick preview to see what our question and answers look like. And of course, right here, it does show you which one you picked as the correct answer as a, uh, as a visual uh, confirmation. Okay, so now it's done saving and we can go ahead and do a preview. And as with uh, any of the pages that you create in GOMO or courses you create, when you do a preview, uh, you can see exactly what it's gonna look like in a desktop, in a smartphone, or in a tablet. So here is our question. This is what it's going to look like on a tablet. This is what it's going to look like on a smartphone. Obviously, it's got the adaptive HTML5, so that video slid down underneath here. Let's go ahead and try to answer this. And we got that wrong. Go ahead and do a reset. And we got it correct. Oops. So that is how you create a multiple choice question. Uh, with explanations of basic feedback uh, versus advanced feedback. And I hope you enjoyed it. And for any more questions, please go to gomolearning.com and click on our support for additional helpful videos. Thank you and have a good day.